A gorgeous blonde and powerful pharmaceuticals can make the nicest guy in the world finally cut loose. In Better Living Through Chemistry, a straight-laced but henpecked pharmacist is being bullied by everyone in his life until he has an affair with a trophy wife that takes him on a ride of sex and drugs. This is a hilarious take of the good guy tired of finishing last. Doug should be happy with his life. He owns his own pharmacy, has a beautiful and successful wife, and he has a son who's well, he's got a son. Now, he bought the business from his father-in-law, but the man refused to change the name on the sign. His wife controls every aspect of his life, and his kid is crazy. With people getting over on him at every turn, Doug still remains a good guy. One night, he meets Elizabeth, and she changes everything. She is unhappy in her marriage, but she sees in him all the things that her husband lacks. Soon the two are having a wild affair involving crazy sex and dipping into Doug's inventory. Wild times lead to trouble because a federal agent begins to snoop around and the two jokingly come up with a plan on how to kill her husband. At the very beginning of this movie, Sam Rockwell's charm as Doug had me backing this underdog story. Now the humor at first is understated, but as the film continues, it just gets more insane, like our main character. Doug goes from doormat to party animal, and he even becomes a better father. In those scenes that tried to be a little bit more touching and a little more emotional, it was still funny. This thing had me laughing throughout. Even in the sex scenes with Olivia Wilde in them, I should just be staring at her, but instead I'm laughing so hard I almost choked. Rockwell transitions our beloved pharmacist effortlessly. He always had me smiling or busting out laughing as his character goes from just passive to off the rails. Olivia Wilde pulls off one of the most difficult things an actor can do by being seductive and funny, and she does it in her portrayal as Elizabeth. Now, by the end of this movie, I had to take my glasses off, wipe the tears of joy out of my eyes, but I couldn't stop smiling. Better Living Through Chemistry is the movie you watch when you need to laugh. The film's few serious moments are setups for more jokes, and it never brings you down. While the story of a good guy finally standing up for himself is nothing new, we've all kind of seen that, I think the changes that they did with this film and the laughs it brings is going to surprise you just like it did me.